Good morning, guys. We're going to start out with another scary car of the day. So here's the scary car of the day intro. It's now time for the scary car of the day. It's not just maintenance that makes scary cars scary cars, or lack of maintenance. I really wish that we could have a smell of cam right now because this is a carpet cleaning truck and there's water like all over, which breeds a lot of mold. Oh, excuse my language. And there's that guy. We call him the Mexican. I let everybody know that we call you the Mexican. The beaner, yo. Because he is. Yeah. Smell this truck, dude. Smells like my childhood. Alright guys, so I had to come home and take a shower. That was one of the most disgusting vehicles I've ever worked on, like, in a long time. It was and a, you uh... Smelled. Yeah, it was smelly. It, no, it, you it, were smelly. I was smelly. Well, thank you. <laughs> Goofball. Um, it, it, the, the vehicle was a carpet cleaning vehicle, so they had, like, the big machines in there for carpet cleaning, and there's just water all over the place. Ah! <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? You nut crusher! Oh my freaking god! I wanna be like that kid, the world's biggest freak out, and just be like, ow! <laughs> ah, Don't ah. be like him, he shoved a remote up his butt. I, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, he did. Oh. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Stop calling me Squirrel Boy! I wonder if he was really doing that, or if I he don't did it on no, purpose. They, they went I, on TV and they admitted it was fake. Yeah. Hi, baby. Oh, you're hitting me now, too? Good. I've, I've seen kids throw What did mommy kids teach you? Not you. So, anyway, mold. The, the, there was so much mold in that vehicle. The The ceiling was moldy. The seat was moldy. The dashboard was moldy. It was just so disgusting. And so, I... Is that bad? Is that bad to be exposed to... And you still don't want to apologize yet, right? Mold that long. Wow. Hi, baby. Do you see what you have taught our son? <laughs> Amazing. He is trying Yay! to hit me. No, boo. Oh. Yay. Really? <laughs> Alright, that's my cue to get up. We're going to Lowe's. We're going to see some Halloween stuff. You want to see some Halloween stuff? But first, let me take a selfie. <laughs> what? 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 What a butt. What? But? I said but <laughs> first, let me take a selfie. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Oh look, wall art. And spider webs. And bats. Plastic. Ooh. -hoo. Squirrels! I just noticed that. That's funny. Took me a second. Frankie. Pumpkin. Owl. Frankie. They really don't have a big selection this year. Usually they have like a lot of stuff. That's scary. Kitty. See the kitty? It's like, wait a second. That kitty's moving. That's kind of cool. What is that made out of? Is that like plastic resin? Made out of something. Yep. Strobe lights. Ooh, mini strobes. Got skeletons and a dropping black widow spider. Ooh, more doormats. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Wipe your scary feet. What? 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 What?
What? What? Too cute. What? 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 With the beautiful sun setting somewhere behind me. <laughs> um, did you guys see the Aurora Borealis last night? Did anybody see that? Well, two nights ago now to you guys. Um, yeah, we didn't hear. Uh, apparently, a lot of the northern states were able to see it, which is kind of unprecedented, kind of cool. But unfortunately, we didn't. Uh, anyway, switching gears, headed to Harbor Freight. Got to get a jack. There we go, guys. There's the beautiful sunset. See? Never disappointing, ever. Well, I try not to. It happens, but I try not to. I almost feel like I'm going on a road trip. You know, the kind of road trip that you go on that you drive like all day and into the night and then wake up the next morning when the sun's starting to come up and you start driving again. That's what it feels like right now. I don't know why. And I think I just missed my exit. <laughs> that is freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can anybody tell me the significance of that stadium? <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about. That is one reason why I love living in the Pacific Northwest. That's just freaking beautiful. Aww. <laughs> I just got through turning the lights on, guys, and she was like, what? Huh? What? All right, so it is time for cock. Sometimes it happens that we don't have that many comments and the vlog is short. So I'm just gonna read everybody's. I wanna make this like a one take, hopefully. Fingers crossed, make sure I'm recording so I don't have to do this over again. Okay, I am recording. Uh, Haunter's Manor, love it. Underworld Haunted House, I watched your Naomi Grossman interview and when you asked her if she knew how big the haunting community was, I smiled because I'm super happy to be in the haunting community. It's filled with people who have great imaginations and great people. Uh, Thank you so much. I totally agree. I, I love you guys. I love being a part of this group because especially uh, um, Boneyard Creep, when things like that happened uh, a while back, we all just band together. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Dude, that was like freaking wildfire. All the haunters and everything. It was just so great. Just in case you're thirsty, I wish it would start cooling down here. It's supposed to be around 102 in Southern California today. Yeah, I used to live in Mesa, Arizona. Anything over 100, it's just hot. Doesn't matter. It's over 100. It's hot. So, my sympathies and empathies. And, yeah. Here, here's some sweat your way. <laughs> Dry off. Or no, get wet. Wow. Tangent. Damn you, warlock! <laughs> What's up, man? Don't sweat it. We're all in the same boat. It's called life, and we have more important stuff to think about, like Phoenix. Aww. I've been watching mostly every day with my five-year-old daughter. We love your channel, and you brought back the Halloween spirit to me and my daughter. Thanks. You are so welcome. Um, it, it's just what I do. I have fun doing this. So, you know, sometimes it, it, it <laughs> gives me a lack of sleep. Um, but, you know, uh, oh, yeah, my vision. I've been having weird things going on with my vision, too. So I do need to start getting more sleep. Because, like, people, when I look at them, it's like they're doing this. And I'm like sitting here thinking it's like okay their head is not really moving like that this is weird have you guys ever ex experienced that before is it just me I, i'd really like to know the answer to that <clears throat> um let's see da, da, da. Uh -huh. front dome what would be cool is to have like an old air conditioner or something to actually make the frozen room cold maybe turn it on a few hours before guests start arriving i don't know just thought something that won't run up the electric bill um, well, an air conditioner certainly would run up the electric bill, and not only that, it, it draws so much current because I've only got a 200 amp service, and when I do the haunted house, I take like extension cords from like different rooms of the actual house <laughs> so that I don't overload a single breaker. Uh, doing an air conditioner would probably blow something, but good idea. I'm thinking maybe fans, something like that. Cap Zone 2! Vocabulary. Phoenix's vocabulary has increased. Yes, it is. It is steadily increasing. Uh, Lori Lee, when they woke up early the other day, they actually went to speech therapy. So we've got some more stuff to work on now. So that's kind of cool. And and Lori Lee was uh, reading Phoenix a book uh, tonight. And it was just so cool because he, he can say the word blue now. So it's just, it's exciting. This is an exciting time. 
Jordan Winton, welcome to my first haunt of the year, hopefully tonight. Really excited. Anyways, happy haunting. Well, happy haunting to you. Uh, let us know which haunt it was and how you liked it. Fairly useless. Dang it, I always... I, I, pff, pff, take two. I always screw that up. And I did it again. I always screw that up, guys. Fairy useless words. Oh, by the way, she's vlogging now, too. Isn't that right, Amanda? I thought so. Um, cup song for the win. By the way, I haven't seen Mika lately. Is she doing okay? Yeah, she's doing fine. She just usually stays in JD's room. <coughs> Professional, clear of the throat. Emerald Gypsy Heart, new addiction, caramel candy corn. That sounds really good. Um, I tried their, uh, what was it, their s'mores the other day. Yeah, it was all right. Emerald Gypsy Heart, plumber's tape to secure the platform. Eh, I'm, I'm going to use the panel. I'm going to screw through the panel to the platform, but that only gives it stability, like like this way so this is the wall and this is a platform right it sits this way i'm just bringing it up like this so that you guys can see it so i'm definitely going to attach it here but the platform will still be shaky this way so i need to do something to stop that <clears throat> clearing of the throat again shopping cart scare emerald gypsy art wasn't us but a kid was riding under the basket oh okay i'm, I'm gonna just like make this really quick a kid was riding underneath the basket of the shopping cart and the the okay so i am going to edit beep emerald gypsy heart shopping cart scare it wasn't us but a kid was riding underneath the basket on the shelf with his arms stretched out and i said aloud that the parents um wonder why their kids get hurt doing stupid preventable things then several minutes later and several hours later the kid is screaming bloody murder because he had his fingers, either intentionally or unintentionally, uh, under the wheels and got his fingers smashed pretty good. There is, uh, I think you meant noticeable blood. The mom started hollering that she was going to sue Walmart. Shaking my head. Oh my gosh. Tarkus head. Really glad to hear about the loan modification. Even a couple hundred dollars less and give you more breathing room. Congrats. Thank you. Tar oh, wait. Uh, little Giles, way to go on the loan modification. Couldn't happen to a nice family. I hope it all works out. Thank you. Uh, shopping cart ride? Yep. Last weekend at the Walmart. Wait a second. You weren't the one. You weren't the kid riding down below the Emerald Jet. Mm. Just kidding. Uh, I just thought that was funny. Adam owns random automotive question of the day. What does transmission fluid that has leaked on a hot engine smell like? Answer, burned pancakes. Um, I've got another answer. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> it smells bad. It, sm it smells very much bad up in here. And Adam goes on to say, yesterday in cock, it was mentioned that it was mentioned that glowing eyes on props are annoying. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that because I think that they make the prop look more fake. Very true. I see your guys' point now. I had popcorn kernels stuck in teeth. This whole last week has been around 105. Um, what are your views on can and air filters? Crap. I'll tell you why. The filter's bigger, it lets in more dirt. That's why the filters need to be oiled. If you oil them and you have a mass airflow sensor, you have run the possibility of ruining that mass airflow sensor, which will give you crappy gas mileage. And not only that, bigger air inlet equals more dirt entering engine, which equals less engine life. There, I have preached. 303430. So wish I near so wish I lived near you so I could help out. That'd be cool. We need all the help that we can get, especially when Troy's out there doing cars. Well not doing cars, but fixing cars. Oddities, which I got another one tonight, guys. That's why the vlog is so short. Um, oddities, gosh, I ride the shopping carts every time I go shopping. Doesn't everyone? Yeah. <laughs> forever young. I wanna be forever young. Alright guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Grr, arg.